First, though, some news. There are some school systems in our area with some students back in their classrooms, at least part of the time. Officials are starting to move in that direction in some other areas, but the vast majority of students in our area are still doing virtual learning. Debbie Mayor 2 News' Erin McPherson joins us live with a breakdown of how our local systems plan to move forward with winter break now over, but the pandemic still spreading. Good morning. Well, I do have a lot of information for you with the breakdown of each school district in our area. But let's start in Baltimore City. Now, they are the most recent to start some in-person learning starting that just this week. And the parents in the Baltimore City community do understand that hybrid is important for some, but they are concerned about safety and comfort level of others. So happening today, they are having a car rally for safe schools tonight at 6 o'clock. Parents from Baltimore Baltimore City Public Schools are having a this car rally. They want to make sure no one is forced into a school building. Now, this is part of a national day of resistance demanding safe schools. And in Carroll County, public schools have some students in the classroom as well. They returned to hybrid learning last week on Thursday. Kids have in-person instruction twice a week and virtual learning the other days. Other school districts are all virtual and have no plan on returning to in-person learning like Baltimore and Harford counties. In Baltimore County over the weekend, a group called Reopen Baltimore County Public Schools came together in Towson. They stress the long-term negative effects virtual learning has on their students outweighs the potential risk of returning to school. Harford County parents feel the same way. They rallied around the school district headquarters last night ahead of the virtual school board meeting. Parents and students shared their concerns in that meeting and outside of it. March will be a year and I just, I want to be able to meet my teachers, meet my classmates. My son is in kindergarten and he's the one suffering the most because I work a full-time job and so does my husband. So we can't be there to be on the computer with him doing the virtual class. So he only gets asynchronous learning and that's what we can do with him in the evening after dinner. Another issue some parents have is that just a few miles away across the Pennsylvania border or in other Maryland counties, parents do have options. Now, the Hartford County School Superintendent plans on speaking at the Hartford County Council meeting tonight. As far as Howard County schools, they are all virtual until at least the middle of April. And in Anne Arundel County, they are planning on moving to a hybrid model next month, the beginning of February. And they also released a survey sent out to all of the parents that needs to be filled out by Sunday so they can get an exact idea of how many parents want to move to that hybrid model and how many want to stick with that virtual model. Reporting live, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.